In this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple little way that you can beat the cover three Mabel from the trip side in, and you can actually beat it to the outside, which is really, really nice. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Now, really quickly, we're going to be breaking down a concept that we go over in our Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. If you have not already gotten my complete Trips Tight End Offensive Guide, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to get that. Right now, in my opinion, it's probably the most powerful offense if you can harness its power. It's, it's one of those offenses that is extremely powerful if you run it the right way. And we teach you how to do that in the guide, so you can get that down in the description. But the play that we're going to be going over is this play doubles in sale. And um, there's also other concepts that are actually very similar to this. Um, the, there's a play from Trips Tight End Offset that might even be a little bit better than this one called X Under. But because the corner route is to the triangle receiver, we're going to go over to X Spot and Doubles in Sale both in this video. Um, they both will serve a similar uh, purpose. So basically what we're going to do... Um, is we're going to kind of create a Mabel coverage, um, if you will, on the defensive side of the ball. So we're going to create kind of a Mabel concept. And then I'm just going to kind of like, you know, spy these guys just to show you the 7-on-7 seven seven basic coverage uh, scheme. So I've got my flat set to 30, and I think I got my curl flat set to 10. So what you're going to see is that if I try to run this route like this, kind of like a traditional flood concept, you're going to see that the circle receiver um, is not going to get open. You see right there, just not even possible. There's really no window to throw that route to the circle receiver. Now, I want to show you what we're going to do to be able to get this open. So the way we're going to get this open um, is through using motion. So how we're going to do this is we're going to basically isolate the outside of the formation. So the way that you do this is we're going to take this square receiver and put it on a little, uh, like a curl route, something like this, and then we're just going to drag our tight end. Now, why I love this route combo so much is because if we motion this receiver in, you're going to notice that that outside corner is also going to motion in, which means the slot corner, who's on the hard flat, is now on the inside, which gives us outside leverage to be able to throw this corner route. Let me show you what I'm talking about in instant replay. So if you look at this in instant replay, what you're going to see is you're going to see this right here. So you notice this right here. So he's motioned across. Look at this. Look at this. This guy right here is on an outside third. This guy right here is on an outside, uh, like a cloud flat type of zone. Okay. So what's going to happen is when we snap this ball, you're going to see it's not going to be too hard for me to get outside leverage of this. Once I get outside leverage, the only question is whether or not this outside third is going to come down. And that's why we've straight, uh, we've placed this guy on a, a streak. You notice here, he's as he starts to turn his hips to the to the left, he's actually looking back at the streak. So he goes back to the streak, and it leaves this massive pocket for you to be able to throw this, this corner route. Okay? Now, an even better way to run this concept, especially, in my opinion, is to use a hot route master quarterback or to just use the play X spot. So if I go to the play X spot, you're going to see that triangle is now on the corner route, which means I can put circle on the deep blue or on the deep uh, the deep uh, streak, right? So because I can do that, then what's going to happen is I'm going to basically, literally the almost exact same concept, right? So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to motion, you know, I might put like a, a, a table route or a wheel, uh, something like that, motion across. And then I'm going to do that right there. Now watch triangle on this play. You're going to notice that this triangle receiver, now he's got outside leverage. He's got even more outside leverage and some easy read for the quarterback. Very simple and very safe. That's against the 30-yard flat zone. So what can, the defense, uh, what can the defense really do to stop it? Well, the best thing that they can do is they can go to this Tampa 2. And so if you watch, I'm just going to shift... Uh, into a like a, just a standard three through five normal Tampa two, but I want you to watch. So I'm going to use that same concept, okay? 
but what you're going to notice is because the cloud flat is outside of the outbreaking receiver, you'll see here that it is a little tighter. Now I can throw it past, I can pass lead it up and it'll get open, but it's definitely a little bit tighter than it was originally. Now, uh, let me take a look at this uh, X spot setup. And again, this is basically exactly the same. But if they shift to Tampa 2, I just want you to see what happens. So here I'm going to shift them, shift the defense to Tampa 2. And if you watch this triangle receiver, you're going to see that the triangle receiver um, is it, going to play the triangle receiver better. Again, it's a pass lead up and it's open. But if that's butt and you've got a little better zone out there, you, you might have a little bit more of a tough time. Okay, so that's just something that you have to be aware of. But as you can see, we're able to really, really able to really deal with this. So the bet, the the second thing that they can do as far as a defensive strategy is if they do something along the lines of this right here. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to base align their defense, and what that's going to do is you're going to see it's going to kind of move that corner on the left inside, and it's going to. Um, it is, is going to basically give them tr true outside leverage. So um, they're gonna have true outside leverage. So if I run this same motion concept, just want you to watch on this left side, you should see that flat, because that flat rod is outside, yeah, I can pass lead him open, but it's a lot tighter of a throw. And if that's a mutt player, it's probably an interception. So that's just something to be aware of. So the question now becomes, well, okay, what do we do? You know, what do we, the next natural question is, what do you do when somebody base aligns? against trips tight end. Well, what I like to do, a um, couple things, you can run your traditional flood. So uh, for example, I could do something essentially like this. I could take square and I could put him on a, uh, a streak. I could take circle and I could put him on a streak. And then I could take a uh, triangle and I could maybe put him on like a little uh, slant, maybe an out route, maybe a, a, a quick flat. But what you'll see here is that this outside third uh, will run stride for stride, as you can see. But typically, if you have a little bit of a speed advantage, you can get a massive step up on that corner uh, to be able to beat that over the top if they do that adjustment. If they do that specific adjustment, which is to look essentially like this right here, then what you've got to do is we've got to figure out a couple of little ways to, to beat it. So it might be something like that, right? Where you have a crosser, you have a fade, you kind of pull him to the inside, and then you allow your, your fade to go, you know, go over the top of the defense. Now, Mike Evans is really slow, but that could be a potential option. Um, another thing you could do is, let's say that they are deep halfing indeed, um, or not deep halfing, but they're they're doing this coverage, um, then, then you definitely want to, to try to work some of these concepts. So if you motion square... Remember now what it's done is it's taken that corner and put him on the outside. So if I do this motion right here, now you're going to see triangle has a lot more room to work on the outside because of the fact that they base align. So the point is if you can get a corner route, here's the concept, having a corner route to the outside of uh, the outside hip of a defensive back is really good against specifically zone drop coverage or cover three uh, Mabel because the corner route has outside leverage and can get outside of those outside zones. So that's kind of the concept. You can do it from X spot. You can do it from uh, doubles and sale. You can do it if you have a hot route master quarterback. It's a really, really good concept to use, especially in trips tight end, because you can create some of those motion snaps and things like that that you can't necessarily create from other formations. This is why the mesh play from the New York Jets gun bunch is so effective as well. Now, really quick before we go, I want to let you know about my true fan membership. Basically, what a true fan is, is it's someone who is truly committed to getting better at Madden 21. And so if you're really looking to take a deep dive into Madden 21 and obviously in Mad into Madden 22, this is a way to get my most exclusive content. The videos that I make basically for myself because they help me to really understand the deep depth of different things within the game, whether it be an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, or where we actually take 
a look at what the best players in the world are doing and do a deep dive on why they're doing that. And so if you're looking for that type of in-depth analysis of Madden, I would encourage you to sign up for our True Fan membership. We are capping it. We're only taking a thousand people into that membership, but that is the best one-stop shop for my competitive Madden material. It's where I break down all my pro player uh, breakdowns where they're really gonna be super fleshed out. We actually have a one hour breakdown on Drini's Madden Classic offense, and we're gonna be doing more videos just like that. So like I said, you get three videos a week that nobody else will see other than my true fans. And what are they, they are, is there an offensive meta update where we take a look at what is the latest and greatest offensive concept Okay, same thing for defense, so defensive meta update. And then the third thing is where we actually sit down and we really do a deep study into what the best players in the world are doing, why they're doing it, how you can do it too, and then also how you can counter it. So that's what a true fan will uh, get. You can sign up today for just five bucks. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for that as well. So if you wanna get my trips tied in offense, that's in the description. And if you wanna become a true fan of my channel, that is uh, available down in the description as well by clicking on the Patreon link that I have down there for you. So thanks for watching this video and head on down to the description and uh, become a true fan today.